एवरी वन दिस इज टी सेट ए बी सी डी एंड वेलकम टू अनदर कटान वीडियो हियर ऑन माई चैनल सो प्लेइंग द बेस्ट गेम फॉर माई रोड टू टॉप हंड्रेड सीरीज अगैन एंड इन दिस गेम आई एम इन दर्ड पोजिशन ओके नोटिसिंग दट देर इज एन एवरेज अमाउंट ऑफ ओर बट नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ वीट हियर quite a lot of wood available so maybe based on that i think yeah 8 4 10 would have been is grabbing the best wheat and some over and sheep i think black here with second position can easily go for something like uh, 9 5 10 okay goes for 6 9 3 which i don't think is a bad position it's a pretty good placement here so now if i leave 9510 open for orange orange can easily go for 9510 834 and have a very very strong game so do i want to actually i can go for 9510 83 myself because if i go for 9 5 10 orange is surely not going for 8 3 and even if i don't get 8 3 even something like 6 9 3 3 is quite playable here so yeah i will just go for 9 5 10 at the very least 6 5 11 is an option or maybe something like I can even give up on wheat here completely. Go for eight five ten. If orange goes for five six eleven eight four three, I think eight five ten is also not a bad pick here. With the access to the three to one port and the over port, I think I can have a decent game. yeah because i think if i don't go for 8510 black can easily go for it and then the wood port is very very strong so now it's basically me who has to choose between either 83 which is a very enticing pick here i don't think i dislike it at all but then i think it is a little difficult to just be it will basically be an over we cheap game and i won't be able to do anything else apart from it okay orange goes for 8 5 10 i did not expect that at all maybe wants to pair 8 5 10 with 8 3 or maybe 6 5 11 i think 6 5 11 could be a decent choice I will not be surprised if orange goes for eight three here though. I'm also considering something like eight three four. So yeah, at this point in time, I have to basically decide between eight three four and eight three. I don't think there is anything else that is an option for me. Your red will be able to go for six, eleven, twelve, because I think black will go for eight, three, four if I leave eight, three open, and then I think orange does has a very, very strong setup. Like gets a settlement on the three to one port. So maybe I have to go for eight three four here.
Yeah. So although I am stuck with very little wheat, I think overport is a necessity for me at this point. I think black here goes for something like 6, 11, 12. Yeah, so this is good. Although, I mean, red going for 6, 11, 12 with the sheep port seems fine. Orange here starts with a dev card. Let's see what red does. So, I mean, 6, 11, 12 is left open. I did not expect that. Yeah, I'll surely take it here. Yeah, I'll try and go for the over port here. It shouldn't be too difficult to be honest, but it's not the most easiest either because red can easily plow me if red wants to. Let's see what black does. So So let's see if I get a trade here. I don't think I'll be getting it, but then it's worth a try. So if I get that trade, I'll just hold on to it for now. Uh, so that if couple of eights roll, I will be able to get a road settlement. 
it's not happening though that's the worst part and now i think the eight wood gets blocked yeah here i think i'll be targeted just because i have ore Although I think orange would be a decent choice I uh to okay it is actually bot who targeted yeah I'm not sure what's going on here even red disconnected for a some time some time back so the three basically gives me a city wow so now I have a city in hand. And I think getting a city on A three four would be quite nice. It doubles my wheat production. Uh, seems like I'll have to ask for a trade. Yeah, that is my only word gone here, which is unfortunate. Red might be willing to do this because red does get a settlement which is quite strong on the 5-2 spot. The goal is yes or no, I'm not sure. Okay, gets an ore and gets a city there. Wow, well, red getting a city puts red in a very very strong position. A three basically now gives me a second city. Yeah, at this point, I think I have to accept it. Yeah, not getting a lot of trades here, which is, I mean, a lot of rolls in my favor, which is unfortunate. This is still okay, right? Yeah, I think I'll go for this. And although I cannot do here anything here, I'll just end my turn. Hopefully a seven is rolled, so black will lose out on a few cards. Actually a 6 did hit recently, yeah, so orange is correct about that. Wow, am I going to be targeted? I'll be surprised, but then it's not... Um... Let's see, it was the bot who targeted this and not orange. Seems like bot stole a wheat from me, wow, that's unfortunate. Because it's a resource I don't produce a lot of. And 8 would be excellent here. Another 5 of these. Yeah, this is the reason why I needed the ore port. Yeah, 
يا لتي Okay, solo blocks red. I don't mind that at all. I mean, basically, yeah, I'll surely go for this. And this is unfortunate. The eights aren't rolling when they are unblocked here. Quite unfortunate. I cannot do anything, so I'll just end my turn. Here, yeah, don't want to give away an ore. It would basically mean giving a city to orange, which isn't a good move here. Yeah, and red might block the eight wood again, target orange. Yeah, I'll be very clear. Okay, steals a brick, which is not a good. I mean, what choice do I have? I need a wheat. Black has it, but I think I have to target red here because yeah, I get a, get my brick back, which is quite nice. Let's see if I get this trade. Black might be willing to accept it. Let's see. No, this isn't fair. Well then in that case, I will just hold on to these cards. And I think the eight vote gets targeted and I will be blocked. Okay, it doesn't target me, which is good. But then I still cannot get my road settlement this turn. Let's see if black accepts this or else I might still accept a one is to one. Giving black a strong setup here. So let's see. I mean, black is the only one who has wood here, which is unfortunate because I don't want to trade with black. Yeah, let's see. I maybe I have to do a three to one. Oh, sorry, three to two. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but it's not like I have much choice. Yeah, I think that's the first nine of the game here. being very clear here that it's not me who should be the target at this point although it does seem scary 
आई थिंक ब्लैक एंड रेड आर इन अ बेटर पोजिशन देन आई एम इन ब्लैक इज श्योरली इन अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पोजिशन so maybe blocks the four sheep here or the nine break i think either would be a decent block yeah blocks the nine break a three is excellent so now basically a five ten or a four basically gives me a city uh let's see if i can get this trade this will give me a dev card and a city okay red except a 1 is to 1 i'm more than happy with it so i'll get my dev card first i get a knight which is fine gives me a city and then i'll end my turn Wow, these elevens have been rolling quite a bit, so that's quite nice for black. Next, I would like to get a settlement on one of the three to one ports, or maybe I'll just try and get more dev cards. Need. black to roll a 9 here i think that would be excellent or maybe a 7 i think 7 hurts it hurts black a little more okay plays a monopoly wow so all those 11s are i think red here can easily get a city at the very least okay goes for a dev card couple of dev cards not getting a city i it's a little surprising i think i would have surely gone for a city but then three dev cards are also very very strong do roll a 9 so here easily just go for a dev card i get a knight so do i want to play my knight here just so that i can take a lead and Yeah, I will play my knight. I get wheat exactly the card that I'm looking for. So this way I will stay ahead when it comes to the race for a race for the army. Gets a trade with black. Red has to play a knight if he has it. Doesn't play it, which is surprising. But with that eight, I mean, red has more wheat in hand. He is a road builder. Wow. So I need a nine to roll. That will basically give me two dev cards. I cannot give away my over here. I roll a three instead. So yeah, because I don't have any ports, I cannot do anything here. So let me just. play my knight target red here and i get a wheat which is what i expected so i can do a 4 is to 1 for a sheep 
especially because nines haven't been rolling quite a bit and yeah so this basically secures the largest army at least for now Yeah, here I will be targeted, I believe. Yeah, it does target me. I did expect it. The thing is, if red does have a knight, red can play the knight. And target me. Oh, trade the two is to one with red. Let's see if red does play the knight here. Is actually thinking about it and doesn't play it. Wow. Plays a year of plenty, wow. And goes for another dev card, so... Red has surely been lucky with the dev cards. So I will play my knight. If I steal, if I target red here, there's a good chance I get a brick. That will help me build a road. Yeah, maybe blocking the four sheep is makes sense here. The black is already on nine points. Yeah, as expected, I get a word which doesn't help me too much here. And I can build a road. But I think I need to go for more dev cards at this point in time. Yeah, I think I'll just go for a dev card here. I get a knight, so at least I'll be able to unblock myself if I need to. Let's see, might block the nine brick here or the six wood. He steals from me. Wow. So I have to play my knight just so that I can stay ahead of orange. The problem is, yeah, so it's a GG now. Let's see. So red is blocking black from taking the longest road here, which is a good thing, I would say. So if red connects their settlement or like, it basically secures the longest road for red. So now black, I don't think has any chance of winning. So this gives me another dev card. I get another knight, uh, not the best, but then that's how it is. Yeah, or 
orange plays another night will continue to target me i think okay this is perfect i would say black disconnects again but i'm pretty sure he'll be back in some time with that 10 maybe red is in a pretty decent position let's see if i can get a 1 is to 2 here a 1 is to 1 is not going to help me in any way so i need to pull a vp and uh, Wait, I would have accepted this trade. Did black start an embargo with me? Yeah, I will accept this because I don't want red to accept it. Wow. So maybe orange just traded the win to red there, I believe. Yeah, so gets a settlement and then maybe goes for a dev card, I would say. Red plays a knight. Most likely is going to target me. I'll be very surprised if I'm not targeted there. The good thing is it puts me under seven cards or at seven cards. The bad thing is he stole an ore. So gets a settlement here. A nine would be a perfect role for me. Not sure why. I mean, this is fine. Red is extending, making sure that he secures the largest army. Black plays a knight. Is okay targeting red. I don't mind that at all. And here, I think I'll continue to target red as well. As I said, nine would be a perfect role for me. I get another knight. Wow, I needed a VP here. Wow, these knights are horrendous. I mean, they don't help me at all. Yeah. So basically, I have the largest army secured and there is no one fighting for it. The thing is, I need VPs if I want to win the game. Or else I need to focus on getting a road settlement, which I don't think is going to happen here. So let's see, I will play my knight just to unblock myself. So I get a sheep. I cannot even get a road settlement at this point. I can get a city. I finally get the VP that I'm looking for. So this is quite nice. And now I think I'll hold on to these cards, which will make it easier for me to get the city. Let's see, I think uh, orange here will, okay, all the VPs are gone. So orange has three VPs. Basically, you know, I have two VPs. I have, think red has one. Yeah. So basically I need a three to roll. 
so that way i can just get a city and win the game Well, these sixes don't help me at all. Red plays a road builder, right? So now I think that is just a wasted couple of roads here. Okay, red can block black. Oh, sorry, orange, which is quite good here. I mean, I'll surely take a one is to one here without any questions. Yeah, I have accepted it. Let's see if trades with black. Okay. So I still don't have the win in hand, but um, it's close. Black, maybe black wins. No, black can just get two, two settlements here or two cities and will be on nine points. I don't think black can do anything. Black does not have any settlement spots left. I mean, now I have the win in hand. Yeah. This was such a close game here. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all. I'll, I get two VPs and win the game. Yeah. So red basically, yeah, everybody else was on eight. I mean, yeah, so orange had three VPs. Red had a road building, black had a year of plenty. So red basically stopped black from winning the game at all. Yeah, these sixes were quite strong for orange and black, but then black got stuck with the maneuver that red made. Eights were decent for me. I mean, I get word, but then those didn't help me enough. Yeah, I think four threes and fours were excellent. Yeah, threes, fours, also elevens, right? Lot of elevens there. But then yeah, three, four, five. Few nines and tens, but then I think the other resources were enough. And also getting the port. I did a three to two there to get the port, but then I absolutely needed it. Also, when it comes to the dev cards. Yeah, resources lost to dev cards was zero for me because both the times when red played a monopoly it hurt black and orange uh, played a monopoly on wheat i did not have any wheat played a monopoly on wood and i did not have any wood uh, black had four woods there so yeah so black even though had good production but uh, was stuck with not having a way to win the game also, red had to spend quite a few resources on securing the longest road. So it was basically red's effort in stopping black that helped me win the game there. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. So yeah, that is a huge push for me. I'm at now 671. I think I was around 1000 when the game before starting the game. So that's quite nice. Um, anyway, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.